Oh! Oh, that's a good one. Oh! Yo, that's a massive one. What's going on, Poker Cave? So I was browsing the PokerRev official subreddit, which if you guys aren't following, make sure you follow it. And I found a post by somebody that goes by the name Charizard Chaser. And it looks absolutely insane. He literally did an entire montage video of just everybody on YouTube, on the internet, pulling crazy Charizards from modern stuff to like some of the oldest of the oldest stuff. So we're gonna watch this together. I'm pretty excited to see this. And again, shout out to Charizard Chaser on YouTube. Make sure you guys check it out. I'll leave a link down below to the original video all right we got a charizard tribute let's go you guys can't hear it but we got some pretty awesome music going that unfortunately is copyrighted so first edition base set charizard oh starting off with the rainbow charizard pulls charizard v max all right oh Look at that kid. Look at this kid. That is like the probably the best day of his life. Number one, kids meal at McDonald's with apple juice. Good choice. Number two, rainbow Charizard VMAX. <laughs> did they just like put that in there for him? Or did, it, like, did he just recently pull it? <laughs> oh. Yo, that was sick. I've never seen anybody do that. Oh yeah. Oh, -hoo -hoo. casual. Casual first edition Blaine's Charizard from Jim Challenge. Ooh. Oh, oh my gosh, with that rainbow Charizard, dude. That is like probably one of the craziest to pull. Yo, I know that guy. I think his name is Yugi Rev. No, that's not it. Dude, okay, we made it. Woo, we made it. <laughs> that was a good pack. That was Evolutions pack, Hollow Charizard, and Reverse Hollow Charizard. Same pack. Oh, I remember that. That's Pokemon Radar and Swolpoke. Just casually opening up live. You can see like the Instagram on their phone. Casually pulled a first edition base set. Shadowless Charizard. Woo. Miskip and Island with the first edition Dark Charizard. Who's this? Who is this? That's crazy. Literally pulling a first edition base set Charizard. Gosh, I cannot, I have to pause this every second because it's ridiculous. Another first edition Charizard. A mini Charizard. <laughs> Nice. Oh, Expedition. Oh, there we go. What? You see how many packs there are back there too? Fire Red Leaf Green Charizard EX. Oh, that's a good one. That's not as well known as a lot of the other Charizards. I think it's definitely a high tier one that a lot of people kind of don't really think of first when you think of Charizards. So many, so many people pulling this. This must be like going back to some old school videos. Woo! It's like the peekaboo. Oh, here we go. The classic Leonhart one. Shiny. Oh, that's a good one. Dude, that's crazy. This has to be a really old video. Oh! More Charizard. And up with the Charizard. Ooh, we got the shiny Charizard from Neo Destiny. Sorry guys, I have to keep pausing this. It's like every second there's a big hitter Charizard. Oh, that's insane. Oh, Randolph with the Dark Charizard. Two appearances from the Dark Charizard. Evolutions, nice. <laughs> that's a good reaction. Oh, yo, that's a massive one. Crystal Charizard. There it is. Shiny V. Ooh. Charlie with the Blaine's first edition. Gym Challenge Charizard. <laughs> what is this? Why am I on here? That was not my card. That was during the Steve Aoki uh, opening. Ooh. Nate with that rainbow Charizard from Burning Shadows. Two people pulling that. Base set. <laughs> There's an explosion. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Oh, nice. Shadowless Charizard. Okay. Third. Third. The third rainbow. That's like one of the most difficult to pull. We're seeing that like pretty frequently in this video. Which is sick. And that's the third dark Charizard. Ooh, base set Charizard. Oh, that's a big one. We're stopping on that one. Okay. Gold star Charizard. Are they opening that outside? Base set Charizard, baby. 
Japanese base set nice. Rhyme style with the Charizard level X. Oh, I remember that. Woo! We're seeing a lot of different Charizards in this video. This is awesome. There's a classic Logan Paul first edition base set Charizard pull. That was really sick. Good job, Charizard Chaser. I really like that. That was cool. That hyped me up. I want to open up some packs. All right, so I was not planning on doing this, but this video got me super hyped up, and I want to see if we can pull a bunch of Charizards for ourselves. So right here, I got a stack of packs, but it's not just any ordinary stack of packs. Every single set in this pile of packs could have a shot at a Charizard. So, four Hidden Fates packs, four Shining Fates packs. We also have four Champions Path packs. We have four Burning Shadows packs. And last but not least, four Evolutions packs. 20 packs total, five different sets, 20 shots at Charizards. Let's see what we could do. Let's do one pack from each set at a time here. We're gonna start with Hidden Fates, and then we're just gonna go through, then I'll do like Shining Fates, Champions Path, Burning Shadows, which is brutal, but we could get something out of that. It would be insane. So, let's start off with pack number one. We got a coffin. Put Fairy. Atkins, can we get some first pack magic? Jolteon Reverse. And <laughs> Bill's Analysis. Shining Face next. So, I don't know about all of you, but these five sets right here are definitely some of my favorites. I mean, it, Evolutions, Burning Shadows, which, you know, the Rainbow Charizard could be pulled out of that set. We got a Luxray Hollow. Champion's Path. This actually has two different Charizards. Let's go. All right. Good shop. We got an Ekans. Let's see if we got our first hit. We haven't pulled anything really yet. Energy. Ooh, the Center Scorch Hollow. All right. These packs can't do this to me. We just got super hyped up with, like, almost every Charizard that you could possibly pull. Or a ton of them. And, I mean, come on. We can get some. There's Charmander. Let's go. This is the saddest Charmander, though. Just straight. It's like the animes. Just stuck in the rain there. We got a Mouth Reverse. And a Tangrowth. I like to call Evolutions all reliable because it's just reliable. You're going to get a hit usually. You got to get at least a reverse or a break card or something. Charmander again. Diglett. There's the break card, Midchamp. We got a far fetched. Technically, our first real hit here besides the house, the Midchamp break card. And then we're just going to go right back to Hidden Fates. So, this was the first, like, when this set released anyway, like, this was the first time it really started, like, hitting. The main mainstream, like the news, like the media was picking us up when this Charizard was being pulled and being sold for like all this money. And that was like one of the first big, big waves there. Besides Pokemon Go, we got Shuppet and Gyarados GX, double banger. Nice, we'll take it. Shining Fates, kind of like a follow-up to Hidden Fates in a way. Got a Tropius, Gym Trainer, Luxio, come on. Let's see. Oh, Professor's Research, not Hollow. Champion's Pet. Like, literally every single time we open a pack here, we have a shot at a Charizard. And some of these sets have multiple. Evolutions with the most. I think Evolutions has, like, six different Charizards or something ridiculous. So, let's go. Machamp Reverse. Oh, there we go. Gardevoir, VMAX, Rainbow Hit. I'll take that. Burning Shadows, though, I would say, out of all these sets right here, has the toughest pull rates. Burning Shadows is, like... Burn Shadows is just... You already know. If you've opened this setup before, you already know. You can open up like a 1,000, 2,000 packs and still not pull the Charizard Rainbow. Such a difficult set. Even just get a rainbow. And then the quality control on Burning Shadows is some of the worst that I've ever seen. So you have so many things going against you. That's why the 10 on that card is worth a ton of money. That a PSA 10. Pikachu, Staryu. And then Evolutions, of course, has the probably like one of the best pull rates here. Although Hidden Fates and Champion's Path. I'm sorry, although Hidden Fates and Shining Fates also have really good pull rates. Metapod. Metapod. And Eradicate. We're going to just go right back here. We got two of each of these sets remaining here. Let's see what else we can get out of these. All right, Echo's on the front there. I think I saw something. I think I saw something in here. Cubone. Voltorb. Ooh, Kartana Shiny. And a Raichu GX. I definitely saw the Raichu peeking out there. Shining Fates up next. Look at that. That Charizard VMAX on the front of this. Come on, Poke K, what is this? Actually, I love this artwork though. Cacnea. Spin rack. Selby reverse and a Zarude. That is so rude. That is so rude. Champion's Path, let's go. Yeah, I actually got a crazy idea. On the last round of all these packs, I say I open them all up, I just make one epic stack of all those packs together and we just go straight through it. That could be crazy. All right, I'm just coming up with the, the best ideas through this video. <laughs> All right. 
Burning Shadows, maybe give us something at least? Something? There's gotta be something in this one. Better than a hollow. Magic Harp, Super Scoop up Reverse. Oh, and a Kingdra hollow hit. Even just getting a hollow out of that set. All right, Evolutions. And then I'm gonna just open all those up and we're just gonna stack it up. Which is something crazy. And hopefully there's some crazy stuff for the finale. Magnemite, Arcanine Reverse, nice. Dog Trio, non hollow rare. All right, so I want to open it this way so I can put this down there. All right, for the first time ever, the stack. Ball Guy makes an appearance. This should be illegal. I get locked up for this. This is just too crazy. All right, let's go. Yo, look at that. That is a pack right here. That's a Poke Cave pack. So they should start making packs like this. Uh, Pokemon, if you're watching this, like, look at this. This is what you got to do. This is what you have to do. Star you, Clefairy, Pikachu, the world's biggest pack. There we go, shiny hit to start off type null. In the Vaporeon Hollow. All right, we gotta put that to the side to sleep it later. There's just too many cards to go through here. Code was Trap, Brock's Grit. There's a code card. We got our ball guy. All right. Tropius, Gym Trainer, Luxray Reverse. Striking out on that pack. That's all right. We still got like three more back there. Rotom. All right. Moving on. Next pack here. I think it's Champion's Path. Carvana. Ekans. Eldegross V. Regular V card hit. The never ending pack. Bike. Machoke. Beedrill. All right. Next pack. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Noibat. Tangela. <laughs> Ryan. This is just ridiculous now. Riolu, Noibat Reverse. Oh, man, we're striking out a lot. Let's go, Grass Energy. All right. Woo. Evolutions, come on. <laughs> no Charizards. Uh, first half of the video is awesome. Second half, uh, I don't know. Drowsy, Electabuzz, Professor Oaks hit. This is our last chance. What's the hint? Is there something good? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Farfetch. No. All right, Poke Cave. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you have a great day. Oh, and on your way out, make sure you subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Stick around. We're on the road to 400,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much. And I will see you on the next one. Did you know that the Poke Cave has its very own line of hot sauce? Well, now you know. Grab one. Grab two. Grab 17. Don't grab 17. You're going to regret it.